The number of foreign private military contractors in Pakistan has risen dramatically in the last few months. But do thousands and thousands of armed men on Pakistan's roads really add to security in the country? And we're now joined by our correspondent, Aliona Minkowski, who's in Washington, D.C. Hello there, Aliona. So what can you tell us about this situation? Thanks, Yulia. Well, that's the question that people are asking is, can they actually give more security in the country? Because at this point, these private military contractors are becoming better known for stirring up trouble than actually doing any good, especially if we look at examples from Iraq, because these private employees are not subject to the same rules that military personnel are. And allegedly, some of them that are getting contracts in Pakistan are for targeted assassination projects. But one of the questions that we really have to ask here is how far-reaching is this war in Afghanistan becoming? A lot of people have already nicknamed it the AFPAC war, and this information that we're discussing today makes that seem like more of a reality. And here to talk about it with me is RT contributor and investigative journalist Wayne Madsen. Wayne, thanks for joining me today. Now, first, I just want to get the record straight. How many private contractors are there already in Afghanistan at this point? No. Well, they say there's actually more private contractors in Afghanistan. I'm than, sorry, I meant Pakistan. Oh, in Pakistan. Pakistan. Well, in Pakistan, of course, uh, there's a recruiting effort. Uh, I've been told by private military contract sources that uh, a former British SAS uh, officer is now rec uh, uh, basically putting ads in uh, local newspapers in Pakistan looking to rent compounds for this influx of uh, private military contractors. Uh, three former Pakistan retired Pakistani generals are also giving speeches, uh, including some who uh, worked for ISI, the Inter Service Intelligence Agency, stating that they've see, they see uh, 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 these uh, vehicles now in Islamabad without uh, license plates. They see private military contractors in the area. Same thing in Peshawar in the north.